Oh my god, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> I'm like totally stuck down here. Ah, uh, this is this is a really fun level. I see why this is many stars. It's like it's one of those things where it's like very unexpected. <laughs> I want to check out this level by my good buddy Zeratul. Zeratul makes all of the art for my channel and most of the emotes. He's a super, super cool guy. Really appreciate the work that he's done. And he made this lab, Aperture Gravity Labs. Uh, it looks really, really, really cool. All right, so the gimmick in this level seems really interesting. So the idea is that um, you're going to be like going through portals. Yeah. And then, like, gravity is going to flip. So the level is going to be upside down. Sounds like a really, really, really cool idea. Um, I remember we played that one level where, like, stuff falls off the bottom of the screen and then it comes in the top. Reminded me of this, but I've never seen somebody do something where it's, like, literally, like, flipping gravity. So this looks like a really sick level. Let's check it out. All right, so I've played the first room of this level uh, when he first sent it to me. So I know what to do here. And that is... Shit, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> okay, right, right. So these pipes are going to basically invert gravity. So now the spiky guys are coming out the bottom pipe, and these guys are coming out the pop pipe, and now what normally was going down is now taking me up and vice versa. So I can actually get one of these shells. Oh, shit. I can get one of these shells in the upside down land, take it back here. All right. So we're gonna use, I think the shell just goes, through. yeah, okay. So we're gonna use the shell to go up here. All right, climb in the vine. Squeeze into the, g I love the face that these guys make though, by the way, these fucking, look at the clown car's face. It's just like. <laughs> all right, all right. So coming from the top pipe, we have a spring. Uh, if we kind of look up here, okay, yeah. So we've got this blue skull platform and if we ride the blue skull platform, we're gonna fucking die. All right, uh, can we go down here? Uh, that looks like I'm gonna die if I jump down there. All right, let's go in here. Um, so we can spring jump up here, that doesn't do anything. So that's like, so that means below there, we got what it looks like up there. Uh, but I can't get through right here because of the spikes. So that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. That's not right. Was there something down here? Oh, okay. Oh, right, because it's the inverse. Okay, okay, right. We can use the spring to get into here. All right, all right, cool. Cool. So now we come out. Oh, God. So now we come out the room that we were just in, but upside down. And now the blue skull platform that was taking me to my doom, I'm now on the underside of it. By the way, if we go back here, this is like the room we were just in, but upside down. Really, really cool. Really nice aesthetics, too. All right, so we can now ride this because we're like on the underside of it except not. Really, really cool idea. <laughs> so we got we got some chumps falling down from a thing. Got some coins, so if we were to hit a P-switch, we could get on top of those coins. All right, so this is the last part of the level that I know anything about, and that is if we throw the spring when the chomp's coming down here. Oh, uh, something like this. Nope, not like that. <laughs> not like that. Yo, Zeratul, this is what kept happening to me, how it just like goes up there like this. Um, so we can we can help our little our little chomp. I'm bad. Our little chomp friend along his little path here. So I need to time this a little bit better. Maybe right when that one jumps off. Oh, I'm still too. I'm doing it too soon. The little chomp is gonna go on a magical journey. Yo, I swear it's RNG when they come out of their little. All right, there we go. No, that one came out. I swear that one. Ah! I swear that one came out later. I think I got the idea here. So I just need to wait a little bit later for the. Chomp to like that. No, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I just, it, dude, they're fucking trolling me, man. I swear they come out at different times. It's so random. All right, here we go. No, you little shit. All right, go up there. All right, so the chomp goes up there, hits a P switch. Now we got ourselves a P switch. All right, I don't know how to hit the P switch. I guess if I just put it right here, it should work. Okay, if the P switch went off the edge, I would have actually lost my mind. Zeratul, knowing my predilection for spaghetti, decided to design me a level where I will have no shortage of it. Did that, seriously though man, did that spike really need to be there? Did that, does that spike serve any purpose? Alright. Oh, I need to, oh god, please come back. 
It didn't come back. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Oh, am I just gonna fall and die? <laughs> Please. I can't get back up there. I'm losing my mind. This isn't hard and we can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Go! Oh, God. What? No! Uh, the spring, I, I can tell the spring has, like, has a mind of its own. It's gonna, it's gonna knock me into the spike if I give it even a moment's... All right. All right. I don't know what to do with this. Let's just put it there. All right, whatever. Yeah, this is much easier. Okay, we're just gonna... Oh, God, I'm just gonna run. If this chomp kills me, I'm gonna lose my mind. Please. Okay. Okay. Go up here. All right. <gasps> Oh shit, I didn't grab the vine. Please! Okay, alright, alright. What do we do? Alright, so I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, looks like we can go up there. I don't see a way to get this pow. If this- we also have to- th oh, well that's gonna blow up. Okay, do I- oh, the- the Koopa's coming! The Koopa's coming at me! Stay back! Okay. Do I do this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything for me. Do I go up this way or the other way? Oh god, there's nothing up there. Oh, I go in- I go in the pipe. I go in the pipe. Oh my gosh, I get it. Alright, I get it. I get it. I'm going in the pipe. So it's gonna- It's gonna take me out the top, and there's chomps that are gonna come out of this. There's chomps that are gonna come! I can- I remembered! Alright. Um... No, there's more! I thought there was only- For some reason, I thought there was gonna be only one. I don't know why I thought that. That didn't make any sense. Zeratul, this level is spaghetti central! Okay. Oh, I see. The chomps stopped coming because that- what even happened last time? Oh, I just have to go up high enough and then something on the chomp on top is letting this guy out. Okay. All right. So we're going to hit him over here to get through to that other pipe. But then once we get through that other pipe, I'm not exactly sure what we need to do. I'm pretty sure I don't go up here, right? Because look, there's just a chomp up there. So it doesn't look like we can really do anything up there. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Let's go through this. Now, what I hate about this is that I can't wait. It... It, the platform takes me up, so the chomps are just gonna start coming out, and I don't know what to do. So the chomps are gonna. Oh, I go to the right. I go to the right. Okay, 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 okay. We should be safe. If the chomp comes. If the chomp snipes me down here, I'm gonna lose my mind. What do we do now? We can go over here. So let's just try going. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Never been so happy to see a checkpoint in my life. <laughs> All right. Um. Now we got we got lots of stuff going on. We got a. Launcher bouncing on something at the bottom. We got, there's actually stuff in the previous room, but I don't know if I need to worry about getting to it or what. Maybe we should try going up here and just kind of see what's up here. Okay. I don't understand how I'm gonna get into that. Unless there's a hidden block below it or something. I feel like we can kind of try. I, I feel like this is gonna get me killed, but I kind of also want to like, I don't know, this is gonna get me killed. I wanted to know if there's like a hidden block of I mean, that. Oh no, maybe we need to turn the door upside down. All right, all right, turn, turn the room upside down. Where's my inversion pipe? How do I, let's just go over here. All right, <laughs> let's just go right into this long pointy object here. Uh, what are your thoughts on a 14 year old taking Accutane? Do you think the side effects are worth it? Accutane is a very tricky drug and the only reason I know anything about it is one of my good friends was on it. Accutane is like a, a thing that people take for acne, bad acne, and it, Accutane is one of those drugs that's like been around for a long time and it's just like, yeah, this does some shit to your body and we don't really freaking know what the hell it does. Um, so, oh god. So the side effects for it can be like pretty severe and random and yeah. So I, I guess it, I guess that's just a decision. Like nobody, I don't think there's any right answer to that. It just how it, it just all comes down to like, you don't even know how bad the side effects are gonna be for different people. The friend that I had that took it had like really, really bad side effects for a long time. So I think he wishes that he hadn't taken it. But I actually, I also know another person who's taken Accutane where they didn't really have much problem with it, and it was great. It totally got rid of their acne. So unfortunately, I can't answer that question for you. But yeah, Accutane can be really bad. Um, get a mushroom, that's nice. All right, I officially have no freaking clue what's going on in this level. If we had like something, something like a P-switch, we could maybe get through that. Maybe with this mushroom, we can do something useful though. Wait, what, did this, is this where I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> All right, I uh, can't really go anywhere up there. Unless there's a hidden block right here. Yeah, no. 
No hidden block. All right, looks like I see a vine. Ugh, okay. Oh, I see. We can... I need to... Oh, okay, so this is gonna let me go into the bottom area here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can break... Oh, do I want that, though? Do I want to do that? Or do I want to go through here? Can I get back right here? Oh, I can't get back right here. I feel like this might be a hint, though. This might be telling me what to do in the next section. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're like, so now we're going back through the other section, but now it's upside down. This level is so cool. I love how... Oh my gosh, how complicated it is. Like, it's not just like one little room and then you invert the room. We've got like multiple areas and then you can invert them. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do up there. I hope I didn't need my... Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's just the checkpoint. It's the, check the same checkpoint, but upside down. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. All right, I feel like there's something going on out there, but I can't really tell what. There's beetles coming out of that pipe. Oh, and ooh, I couldn't get off. Let me off. This is okay. So now, now we have the the once bouncing cannon under the door here. And this was the upside down door in the previous room. Was oh, that guy coming at me? <laughs> oh shit! I don't know if I want to hit the top of this or the bottom of it. It might make a vine, and then I could climb up there. I feel like I'm fucked. Vine? Okay. <laughs> that was anything other than a vine. That would have been really bad. Okay, everything is fine. Now we're going down here. Ooh, what do I do? I feel like depending on how I position these, I can probably coax these guys into, do I want them to go up here? See, now if these little blue guys walk up here, they'll go on top of the music block, and if it's a vine, hit that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, real question is, do I want to do something with this power block? Or do I want to go in the pipe, or do I want to go to the side? Let's just use that. It might be a bad... Oh, I get more. Well, oh, okay. I can't do anything with it. All right, all right. So let's... Do I go through here, or do I go in the pipe? I feel like the... I don't know. Let's, let's just... Let's see what's over here first. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what's over here first. Oh. 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 <laughs> um. Wait a minute. Let me. If I do that kind of thing, it's gonna let me down here. Which one do I want, though? I'm gonna get the star. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting we're getting everything. All right. I don't know what's going on. Oh, of course that's gonna happen. Uh, go up here. Question mark. Question mark. Go in here. <laughs> Get stuck. Get soft locked. <laughs> oh no, I'm literally soft locked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Zeratul, why? Why is Zeratul, why? Why have you done this to me? Now, to be fair, if I had looked two feet in front of me, I would have seen that I was gonna get soft locked, but I didn't. I didn't do that. I walked right into it. I literally have to either replay the level or wait another 195 seconds until I die. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, we gotta not. God. I've learned nothing. I've learned absolutely nothing. All right, we gotta hit this from the bottom. That's right. I'm bad. I'm bad. Ugh. Okay. Put the pow here. Little dudes, are they coming? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> okay, now we got our vine. I'm gonna just blow these guys up. I think I can get in this. Yeah, all right, so what do we got in this pipe? Should be the same thing upside down, yeah. Oh, so this is where I came out on that other side there. Oh, but I could. Oh God, they're coming. Wait, I'm gonna just block these fuckers off. Do I want to go over here? Oh, and now we're on the other side of this. But now I don't know if I can do anything useful here. Yeah, but I could go through this pipe. But that is that actually useful? I don't even know. Oh, this guy's coming for me. He's coming for me. Move, move. 
Alright, I'm gonna go back through this pipe and then see if I can... Because now we're up here. Oh, this looks good. Yay, I got a star! Did I actually solve it? I feel like... Oh, no, I'm like right... Is this right back where I was before? Oh, fuck. This is right back... Where do I go? Shit! Where's the way out? This is literally where I was before, isn't it? No! No! I got an extra power block, though. I almost, I just want you to know, I almost went in here and tried to do a POW jump, and that would have literally softlocked me again, because I would have been standing with the POW block below me, unable to get through there. <laughs> the moving items are representing the SMB3 ending. Oh, that's so smart. That's so smart. Let me, let me try going back this way again, just to kind of see what was over here again. Right, so this is like the ending at the end of all Super Mario Bros. 3 levels, so maybe what I need to do is get softlocked again. No, maybe what I need to do is uncover the actual ending in the inverted version of this, maybe? But how are we gonna, I'm trying to think of how we're gonna actually do that. Probably gonna just die to this bomb right here, watch. Okay, I'm gonna get these power-ups and go through here and then not get softlocked. <laughs> just try this and not get softlocked. Okay, this is actually the end, isn't it? I get it. I totally get it. I take a bomb through here. I'm like 90% sure that I actually get what to do for once in my goddamn life. All right. So I'm gonna let this wear off. And then, I don't know if I can make this in time. Oh, I can if I do this. I got this. We're gonna, no! No! <laughs> All right, cue 20 minutes of spaghetti. Okay. I think this is right, actually. I think I take the bomb through here, put the bomb right here. Is this the... Or am I just an idiot? Yo, this is fucking it! Get in there! Oh, I can't get it yet. I gotta do one more. All right, wait, wait, wait. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. This is really cool. So it's the actual end of the level buried under there. Very nice. Look, we got we got some nice, nice clues. Oh, I think I need to be on this end. All right, all right, all right. All right. Blow me up, bitch! Boom. Very cool. Very creative level by the man Zeratul. It definitely had high spaghetti potential. <laughs> All of these puzzles have been recommended to me actually for months. I've been meaning to get to them. But the great thing about Mario Maker is that there are too many good levels. So um, it, it is never, you like, you never get to the point where it's like, okay, I've played all the good levels. And I mean, I've, I mean, I've played a decent bit and I've like never even felt like that even for a little bit. It seems like every week people put out really good levels. The key to, sorry, I was just adding it to the little bar at the top of the screen. So I actually remember to do that. Let's do it. I don't know what to expect with these at all. This is a Super Mario Bros. 1 puzzle though, which is the thing that attracted me to it because you do not see very many Super Mario Bros. 1 puzzles. Oh, geez. <laughs> is this it? Is this the whole puzzle? Because yeah, there's the, um, there's the flag right there. So we need to use the items in the right combination to go down. It looks like go down here, go across over here, jump up there and do that. So we're gonna have to activate the, geez, I wonder if we have to use all of them or do we see some of them? Oh my God, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> so I think I solved it. I solved the puzzle! Yeah, we did it! Oh gosh, this looks like this looks like it's gonna be crazy. All right, what can we? What is a way that these items can interact? And let's just do it one at a time here. Why do we even need the mushroom? I don't even see why we need the mushroom. Oh, the spikes. Maybe to get through that gap of the spikes, you need the mushroom. Okay. How are we gonna break? Oh, we get the. Okay, so we need to hit the P switch. Like the big thing that's jumping out to me is we're gonna need to hit that P switch. So we can hit the P switch by. Putting the P-Switch down there, and then we can drop the Muncher on top of the P-Switch, and that should activate it. We, oh, we can also drop the Launcher. Okay, 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 then we can come down here, we can pick this stuff up. I wonder if there's multiple solutions to this puzzle. That's the thing that's jumping out at me right now. I feel like maybe we needed to activate the POW during the P-Switch, because, see these two blocks right here, now I have no way of breaking through them. What does the Launcher do? Does something shoot out of the Launcher? Oh, it's a fireball. <laughs> that, was, that was not what I was expecting to shoot out of that at all. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if it... Are you going to go down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, this is going to blow the bomb up. We're solving the puzzle and we don't even know what we're doing. Yes. All right. 
That looked good though. Like, why is that block there? Or oh, but maybe maybe the block's a trick, and I'm supposed to get the bomb to. Oh, what if I'm supposed to get the bomb to light and then walk to the other two blocks to blow those up? Huh. Okay. What else do we got? What else do we got? We got a sideways spring. We got a power block. I don't understand how I'm gonna hit the power block. And actually, I don't understand how I can even like theoretically hit the power block. Because if I put the power block down there, it's just gonna go get stuck down there. Like, see, watch. If I put the power block there, it just sits there. Oh, maybe we can hit it with the shell. Oh, if I put the sideways spring on top of it, it should hit the shell. Yeah! Okay, so that's gonna get the shell going. And if we had done that without everything, like, all fucking on top of each other... Yo, what did that mushroom just do? That mushroom's like, peace out, I'm just gonna go right there. <laughs> this looks really cool. Um, okay, so I feel like... I feel like we might have something going for us here. I wanna see what happens, like... Um, I don't know which one to put down first. Let's just put like, I don't know, whatever. I just want to put this down because I've got an idea. So if we put the shell down here and then we put this one on top of it, it should kick the spring into, or the, sh oh, I didn't do it right. <laughs> I didn't do it right. <laughs> I solved the puzzle, y'all. Let's just do this one. Maybe one of that one. Maybe one of this one. I think it needs some, I think in this, in this concoction, we need a little bit of sideways spring, some mushroom, some pow. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Yo, that pow just went flying. What was up with that? This is a really creative puzzle though. Uh, hopefully we can make some progress. I like what we did before where we put this down and then we put this on top of it. So let's start there because then the shell... Okay, wait. So then now if we put the shell down now and then we put this one down afterwards, now the shell is going to get trapped in that area and it's going to break those blocks. Yeah, that that looks good because now if I just... But I can't get anything else in there. But that would that breaks that block without having to use the pow. So then if I... Then if I put the, this thing down, and then I activate the P-switch by dropping the muncher on top of it. Again, the if I put, like, the spring... Oh, shit. This is good. Wait, 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 wait. The... the this is really good. Hold on. What if I put this down and then this down? Is it going to hit the pow? Hit the pow! Yo, that looked like complete luck! That looked like complete luck. We, did we just fucking win? Now we just, now we just get the, we just get the mushroom and we fucking got this. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? No, dude, can you just, you can't make this. There's no way you can fuck this. What the fuck? I got robbed. I got completely robbed. Why didn't it go down there? <laughs> You can't do that. There's no way. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh god. I feel like it was total luck that I saw the um using the cannon with the bomb like that because it it seems like this is like if I didn't do that, it seems like I wouldn't be able to hit the shell down there, right? I don't know though. Maybe that's not true. What if I just put the muncher or well, whatever? Don't don't fix it if it ain't broken. But how do we get this? Okay, wait. So what are you doing? Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. Now that's crazy. So that means we have to get the mushroom down there before we put the spring down there. Okay, so what if we do here? I don't know if the mushroom's gonna stay there though, if it's gonna go down the hole. I feel like the mushroom, I feel like this isn't right and the mushroom's just gonna go down the hole right now. Because I have to clear all that shit out using the P-switch. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked. Because if I go down here now, we have to use activating the P-switch. The mushroom is gonna... Yeah, the mushroom is gonna go down there. Fuck! No, we were so close! I was so excited about fucking getting it so fast, and then we just got annihilated. I love that troll! Gosh. I feel like the level creator saw that coming, wanted me to do that, and I walked right into it. So let's do this, and then this. Let's hold off on the mushroom as long as we possibly can. So after we do that, I think we wanna get the shell going. Oh wait, did I get the shell going last time or did I- Ah oh, shit, I don't remember the order. Did I do the P-switch first? Hmm. I feel like I got the shell going first, so let's- Oh, that was- I just spaghetti everywhere. <sighs> Maybe brute force all 362,880 possibilities is faster. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I hope not. I hope no matter how much spaghetti we got, it's gonna be faster than that. 
All right, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna, we put this one down first, and then you drop the spring on top of it. If you do it the other order, it doesn't work. The shell will just sit on top of the spring then instead of going back and forth. Okay, and then we're gonna put the P-switch down, and then drop the mantra on top of the P-switch to clear out all that shit, and let me clear these coins right here. This is what we did last time, right? Jeez, I hope I don't forget how to do this. And now it looks like I bring the POW down, because... Oh, no, wait, I need to bring the spring down first. Oh, here's the problem, shit. Here's the problem, because last time what I did is I brought the spring down, and then I put the POW on top of that. God, what if I do it all really fast? What if I just, like, do this all super fast? Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> that didn't work one bit. I feel like it could have worked, though. It, I feel like that could work. That almost seems like cheese. Oh, wait, maybe I can activate the POW. No, I can't activate the POW yet. It'll never work. Yeah, it'll never work. Oh, I gotta try something. So what if I do, what if I change the order a little bit? What if I do this first and just get rid of all that shit down there? Okay, oh, I gotta get these. And then, <laughs> then I don't know what. <laughs> Fuck. Because if I put the spring down, I can't hit this. Oh, wait, I think I, I think it'll work. I think it'll still work. Okay, if I do this and then this, it should still work. Yes, yes, okay, kick that out. Okay, okay, I think we fucking got this. Now we're gonna put the pow down, because when we put the pow down, that's gonna break us through, and then we're gonna hit the mushroom, and then hit this. Fuck yes, oh my god, fuck yes. We're puzzling good, y'all. We're fucking puzzling good. Please be the end, please be the end, please be the end. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, getting it, getting it done! Yes! Oh my gosh. I totally walked right into the first step of that though with the bomb because I don't actually understand why the bomb was even necessary. It was just working, so I kept doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a really awesome puzzle. We gotta check out some of this person's puzzles in the future. It's called the key two. That means there must be a key one at least. Maybe there are more keys as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna check this stuff out because someone sent me this. They said it was a really cool, like, like, uh, just like a really cool, well-made level, but not necessarily that hard. Might be a fun thing to do real quick. It's JJ's Mechanical Jungle, and it has an absolutely ridiculous number of stars, which makes me wonder, what is this all about? Why does this have so many freaking stars? So, especially because, um, the level's not that old, it's a relatively recent level. So if it's gotten that many starts uh, in that little time, I'm really interested to see what this one's all about. So JJ's Mechanical Jungle, let's do it. It's probably gonna be an easy level, that's okay. I'm hoping it's gonna be cool. Oh, we got a well-designed level. Okay, we got we got stuff happening automatically. Uh, all right, what do we got? So we're gonna have to go down there. Oh, this is gonna make a little plot. Oh, I get why it's mechanical jungle. So it's okay. It's it's cool stuff that the level has created. That's just like happening for you. It's like the jungle is mechanical. Okay, I get it. I get it. So uh, if you're wondering how they do this thing with the blocks here, if you put something inside of a block, it doesn't turn when a P switch is activated. Oh, we got a chomp. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> trolled so fucking hard. I was just like getting ready to jump on top of that thwomp, or that uh, chomp. Not a thwomp, a chomp. <laughs> I get it. Mechanical jungle, I'm in there. All right, uh, what do we got going next? We're going down here. So we're gonna throw this. It's probably gonna let me down. Oh, it didn't let me down. <laughs> okay, what? I wonder why that took so long. That was kind of interesting how long that took. Oh, and it's gonna give me a key when it kills that. Cool. I see. I see. Uh, this is this is a really fun level. I see why this is many stars. It's like it's one of those things where it's like very unexpected. <laughs> I love the I love like little tiny machines in Mario Maker. You can make some really hilarious ones. Uh, re maybe to remind me to show you guys one I put in a level of that I, when I was just like messing around a long time ago. I put one of my levels. I mean, I, I love little like oh, <laughs> what's gonna let me out? A bomb, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna blow up right before it hits me. Yeah, love it. Love it. Really cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, Andrew Goddess. This is one of those ones that you just really want to look at in the editor. Now, that was a really cool contraption, too. I guess we're going to the right. Sick. I think I'm going to drop this down here. Yeah. <laughs> All of the little, like... <laughs> the little machines that you can make in Mario Maker are sometimes really creative. So there's a hidden block under there. Yeah, and when I hit it, now it's going to... 
what is it going to do? Oh, it loses its wings. So when I, when I, <laughs> when it was still a hidden block, it had wings. But when I hit it, the wings fell off. And when it, the wings fall off, it doesn't travel as far. So it went, instead of going onto this track right here, it like went, uh, it missed this track and went along the bottom track on the bottom there. Neat. Yo, I, I'm getting the secrets. All right, there we go. <laughs> what we got? Fine. Yeah. This, this, jungle, this jungle is so mechanical, you don't even know. Uh, Alright. Get a bomb. Bomb is gonna... Oh, this is a cool one. So when the bomb explodes near the coin, the coin will actually fall out of the air. And that falling coin can hit a note block. So that hits the note block, which knocks the Koopa out there. Koopa knocks another music block that has a bomb in it. Bomb crushes the- Bomb releases the Muncher, which crushes the Goomba to get the key. Cool setups. You can use a lot of this stuff for puzzles, too, in a really unique way. Oh. Okay, we be getting trolled. <laughs> How are we gonna get out of this one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was all- Oh, God, the trolling is top-notch of this. So, uh, whoops, oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Again, one, well, and before I die, um, one of the blocks here had something in it, so it didn't turn back when the P-Switch ran off. Ooh, all right, get that checkpoint, down we go. Uh, Adam for the win says, Carl, thanks so much for getting me into speedrunning. Watch ADQ live for the first time, and it's amazing uh, by the speedrunning community. Love spending my Saturday nights watching delicious spaghetti. Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah, speedrunning is so entertaining. Uh, when you find a game, oh, Oh, this is cool, so it's knocking those things up. Uh, okay, I'll continue uh, blabbing later. This is gonna be a muncher, yeah. Okay. Um, is it, oh, that's... Juke! Alright. Oh shit, he's still there. Yo, yo, we suddenly got a fucking boss fight going down here. Okay. Oh, where do I... I think I do that, right? Um, Okay, now we've got... Oh my god, what's going on? I'm trying to look at the right side of the screen, there's a flying... Oh, he literally jumped right into that. Let me in! Alright. Sweet. We even got a tree. Look at this nice little tree. Oh, we got a Yoshi too. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Let's go! <laughs> Do we get a Rube Goldberg? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Really fun level. Really love all those little setups. So cool. Anyway, yeah, uh, speedruns can be so entertaining because, like, if you've played a game, like, even recently or even when you were a kid, it's just crazy to, like, then just, like, you know, you, you spend hours, days, weeks beating these games, and then you watch a speedrun and they beat it in, like, an hour, and you're just like, my childhood, stop destroying it in the best possible way. It's so good. <laughs> So, I hope Nintendo isn't watching. Uh, this is a glitch level, and this was made by a crazy, fantastic glitch level maker, previously known, at least I think, that's what I heard, previously known as Psycho, and he got all of his levels removed <laughs> um, for using glitches. However, he is back with this new name. Again, I think this is what happened. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Exposed. Don't give his name away. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at this fucking thing right here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put on my helmet and then go up here. Uh, probably needed that helmet. Oh, I got another helmet, nice. All right, we got our, <laughs> look at the fucking the dead hammer bro, fat hammer bro in there, oh my god. Oh shit, alright, alright. Can I even like... <laughs> nope, I can't even get it. <laughs> How do I... Oh, I... Oh my god, there's more! He's coming back to... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. What's going on? What the fuck is going on? Alright. We got ourselves... This is far glitchier than I ever imagined it was going to be. Alright. Which one do I want? 
the the bomb is just blo there's just bombs spawning. Look at that. There's just bombs just spawning out of nowhere. Oh god, this is getting this is getting too hard to navigate. Let me through, bitch. Oh shit, don't hit me. Don't hit me. All right, I think I can get through there. Oh, all right. All right. I'm just trying not to get hit also. Let me out. Fuck, I can't get through. <laughs> I'm like totally stuck down here. I also don't want to get hit by the bombs. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. How am I gonna get into this door here? Oh, this platform goes high enough. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a checkpoint, that's nice. Uh, I feel like I wanna put that helmet on. <laughs> See you later. Um, all right, we got a red coin down there. We got a fire flower up there. Do I need to, oh God, I'm getting stuck. Do I need to kill <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything necessarily with this uh, clown or with this uh, fire fire clown car right here. I think I can hit Bowser Jr. I'm probably fucked. It's a little bit confusing just to know where to go here. So I think I'm just gonna try to kill this guy. Maybe I'm gonna get a key from him. Yo, I did get a key. All right, chance of me making it out without dying zero. <laughs> like, which one do I kill? There's three of them. I wonder if hitting one counts, counts as hitting all of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on. What if I get two keys? Maybe that'd be useful. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No! Okay, just get out. I only got one key. All right, get me out. Get me out. This is so confusing. Look at the. What, there's a fucking. Look at the mini piranha plant. There's a tiny little piranha plant. Do you see this? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. No. No. I was distracted. There were many piranha plants. Go back to see Lakitu. Shit, if I die again, I will. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this demonic. Well, maybe not. I can't even kill it. I don't know what I should do. There's a key door up there. There's another. Um. I have. Oh, I can. I can like get. Oh, I don't have. Oh, was that supposed? To... Oh shit! Did I miss a? Did I miss a red coin? Is that what happened? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna kill myself. Apparently I must have missed a red coin or something. Uh, it's kinda hard to tell what was going on. I was distracted by shiny glitches. It's not a small prana, it's just far, far away. Okay, if we go back in here. <laughs> I fucking lack it too. So, um, I feel like I probably must have missed a red coin, which kinda sucks. I don't know if I have a way to really go back and get it. I really don't want to go through this nightmare again through here. Let's see if I can get through here real quickly though. No, because I can't even, I can't even get back in here, right? I probably have to restart. That kind of sucks. Okay, there's a red coin up there at the top right of the screen, I see. Oh God, please give me that helmet. All right, so I see this one here. Now where's another red coin? There's gotta be one more somewhere. He just fucking woke up? What? This is so weird. Kind of shoot me up. Yeah, there we go. That should break through. All right, where's the other red coin? Because I'm not sure that I can see it. It was right there, red coin under block by Lakitu. Oh, okay, I'll check for it next time. <laughs> oh, is it under the Lakitu? There's coins coming out of the pipe, so it's really hard to see. Um, yeah, this should help a lot. I wonder if there's like a way to... The thing is, is how the fuck am I supposed to get up there, you know? Like, there's... I mean, by get up there, I mean get a bomb up there. <laughs> I'm just gonna push this... I'm just gonna kind of push this bomb up here. I don't get it. You say there's... Oh, there's a... I see the red coin. It's shining, so there's like... Maybe if I do this... Come on. Come on, we're close. <laughs> that fucking spinning... <laughs> the bomb that's just spinning is so hilarious. I mean, maybe I can just get it through the wall. Dude, I can't do shit. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is getting out of control. I think I might, maybe I'll complete this area and then come back. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna come back and get it. Oh God. This is such a mess. I think if I come back and get it, it's gonna be a lot easier to get up there. So yeah, all you can see are these little red sparkles around it. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it, there we go. So it was like hidden under a regular block over there, which you normally can't do, which is probably why I didn't see it. 
That is a glitch. All right. All right. Now I'm ready to lose all of that work instantly in the next room. I think I can maybe dodge these cannons. All right. That should help too. Now I'm not distracted by the fucking... What are the piranha parts? Oh. Oh. Whoa! Let me through. Alright. Get on in that door. Alright, are we gonna go on the pipe or not? I'm just gonna go on the pipe for now, because I'm scared. I'm scared! Kill the boot? Well, that was... Fabulous. <laughs> well, luckily I killed the right one still. Oh shit. How many keys were there? Oh no. Oh no! I was one key short! Or was I? It doesn't even tell me... <laughs> What's weird is it doesn't even tell me how many keys I have. What happens if you ground pound the corner? Yeah, I don't know. It'd be... I feel like there may be some uh, really crazy solutions to some of the stuff in this level. Did I even hit a checkpoint? So we just need that one more key. Give me our key to victory. Alright. There we go. I think we're good now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, do I... I don't know what I can walk on and what I can't. It's like... I feel like I should maybe kill some of the booze. I don't know if I need to kill them, like, for a key, or if it just doesn't matter. Alright, die. I literally don't know what I can walk on and what I can't. Where's the ground? Maybe I can- actually, I think it's, like, a little shinier in the spots I can walk on, so I think I can walk on right there. Oh, I see. It's, like, a little shinier. Alright. I hope I didn't need a key. Alright, that's- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just salty. That was a really cool level. I, I, I think these glitches are fascinating. I, I really wish Nintendo wouldn't patch them because honestly, I think that they're just like entertaining. <laughs> Valak666 donated $10. They say, I love you. Well, thank you so much. Have a heart back. While well, I was making my Chimera sprite and looking in Google and forgetting a Chimera has a goat head, it showed a genetic condition called a Chimera. Can you explain? I think a Chimera is kind of just like a hybrid. Um, I forget what the actual genetic term for Chimera, no, I, th I think the genetic term for Chimera literally just means like a segment, f like maybe genes from one virus or something, and then like some genes from another one, so it's like a hybrid or a Chimera. I think that's all it is. Um, I actually did some random research that was kind of like that. I study plant viruses, and um, it's actually really cool. So we put a green, a it's called green fluorescent protein, and if you want to see some really cool images, it's just called GFP. Just do a Google image search for like animals and GFP. Um, but one thing that we do is like you can um, attach, the reason we like this protein is because it literally glows green. So you get these really cool pictures, but you can see stuff. So like uh, I do some stuff with plant viruses and we'll give the plant virus this green fluorescent protein and then infect a plant with it. And as the virus like spreads through the plant, through the veins, through the leaves, you can watch it because it'll start glowing green with each new place that the virus goes. And you can use this to study like neurons or something. So they've got like freaking transgenic mice where all the neurons are glowing green and you can just kind of see them eerily glowing. Um, but people use this all over science just to be able to see stuff visually and see different processes happening. So anyway, I've done some weird stuff with that with plant viruses. Uh, what do you study exactly? Is it biomedical science? Kind of, sort of, not really. Like it's not like biomedical engineering. Um, I think the easiest way to describe what I do is I'm a, I'm a molecular biologist and in particular I work on vaccines, but I also do some other weird shit too. I've been thinking about something else too. I've been trying to get back into doing some speed running stuff. Um, so a couple of things I've been thinking about. One is, uh, one is I've been thinking about uh, putting together a playlist of cool Mario Maker levels to try to speed run, and I may submit that to SGDQ as well. Uh, more on that later. I also want to maybe get into speed running some other Mario games that I've kind of had on my radar for a long time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mari Hour, kind of popularized by a really cool streamer named Darby, and you should definitely check him out. Uh, but basically the idea is you beat Super Mario Bros. 1, Super Mario Bros. 2, Lost Levels, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and Super Mario 64, all in under one hour, which is a really cool speed run, so. Ugh! 